Is taking a break in a relationship healthy? That's a great question. When is it time to take a break? This is such a common question in relationships. So let's talk about whether it's a good idea or not. When is it time to take a break? This is such a common question in relationships. So let's talk about whether it's a good idea or not. You know what? The truth is, I have opinions on this, but I think if you really want to know what's a therapist's take on it, check out Mended Light. Jono knows the answer. I promise you he does. But this is my opinion from an untrained, unlicensed therapist, a mindset coach. I feel like, yeah, there is a space to take a break. But these are the things that you want to look at. First, if you don't feel like there is any space for your own expression or your own voice to be heard in this relationship, you might want to think about taking a break so you can find the courage and the space that you need to be heard. This person is trumping along, doing what they've always done because they don't mind or they don't want to change. They're not ready to hear you. You don't feel like you have a voice. How do you make them hear? Many times, particularly with men, when women finally decide, hey, I'm done, I'm leaving, men hear them for the first time and they're ready to make the change that you want them to because they finally believe you mean it. It's like being a mom, right? Hey, kids, get ready for school. And the kids are like, okay, mom. And then you come back five minutes later, they're lying in bed. Hey, I told you to get ready to school for school five minutes ago. You didn't do anything. Okay, mom. And then you go away, come back. And now you're screaming at them. And the kid's crying and they're running around getting ready, but you're already mad. It's too late. And what happens typically with relationships, and I think this is most common with men, is by the time the woman has said over and over and over again, I need this change, I need this change, and you haven't done it, you have not heard them, they don't feel heard, they don't feel like they have a voice, and they step away, the man is ready to change, but the woman is emotionally done. It's over. There's nothing left. It can happen for men too with women. And I'll tell you about that in a minute. But if you need a voice, that might be a reason to step away for a break. Number two, you need a change. You believe it's possible, but your partner is not hearing you. So it's very similar, right, as your voice. You need something that is not happening. It's not about your voice, but you are requesting some sort of change in the relationship. You want to go back to work. You want them to help out around the house more. You want whatever that may be, and it's not being heard. This might be an opportunity. You know, I'm not talking about little things, too. I'm talking about big stuff that is game-ending for you. You're like, this, if this continues, will end my relationship with you. Before you get to the emotional place where it's an end, say, I need to take a break and you need to consider whether you want to be with me. And if you're going to be with me, this is the change I need. You're struggling with addiction and you keep doing these things and I will not put up with it. Well, you can get rid of them, right? Or whatever that thing is. The third thing is if you feel unsafe. If you're in a relationship where your safety is at question, you should absolutely take a break. And if you don't have the courage to end it, what you can do is you can approach from this space. You can say, I just need to go away, take a break, give yourself some space to get your head out of that turmoil that you're in. The one thing that I would say to you, if you are feeling unsafe in a relationship with somebody, do not go back unless that person seeks professional help that will, that will change the nature of how they treat you and how they act. Do not put yourself in danger because when you leave, this is common, when you leave an abuser and they sense that they're losing you, they will up their kindness, they will change how they act to you, they'll reach out, they want you to come back and too often, Men and women faced with this they go, oh, they've made the change and they go back without any significant change to the behavior, just a current pattern break in how they're being kind to you. That is not sustainable. They will immediately spiral back into treating you poorly as much as you think they won't, they will. 
unless they actually go out and get help, get somebody that can help them to control their rage, control their issues that are making you feel unsafe. This is a very, very precarious place to be. And frankly, if I, I think if you're feeling unsafe, I wouldn't be with somebody that I was feeling unsafe with. I would end it. But that I get. I have friends and family that I've seen in situations where they felt unsafe and they did not have the courage to end it in that moment. It was too scary for them. Stepping away into a place of safety where you've got loved ones around you that can support you, can allow you to find the space to end it at that point. So these are the reasons that I would step away. And in fact, <laughs> some of the reasons why I did. And the truth is in the breakdown of my relationship, um, I had spent uh, several years in therapy. And in fact, I had spent 20 years asking for marriage therapy because I felt like I couldn't be hurt. And I had some significant issues. I cheated on my wife um, from 2005 to 2008. I was cheating. And I was doing things in my relationship that were detrimental to that relationship. That was what I was bringing. It was the damage that I carried. On top of that damage and problems that I had with my own trauma and abuse that I had not dealt with as a, as a grown man yet, I was also not feeling like I had a single way to be heard. I just would speak and it was as if it didn't matter unless I absolutely blew up. I didn't feel like I had a voice that would allow me to get what I needed. And I didn't have a spouse that was willing to consider that I might need some things too. We were only interested in our marriage therapy and fixing how messed up I was. And it was a valuable exercise because I was messed up and I needed to change a lot of things. There were also some things that I was being asked to change. That there was no chance I would. And there was no space for me to express why or how I wanted to live. I was in a place where I was on my knees emotionally. I felt I was on my knees and I would never be able to get up from that place because I had no voice. So when I got thrown out for finally speaking up and saying, hey, this is what I'm about. This is what I do. This is who I am. My initial instinct was to fight, to get back in good favor and to win this woman back. But in stepping away, in sitting in that space, and in realizing how much I had tried over and over and over again to be heard and been absolutely rebuffed, I decided I'm done. I'm not going back. My break allowed me to see I did not dare step back into a place that would not allow me to speak up and feel safe. And you know what? The truth is, that when you're in a relationship with somebody that doesn't feel compatible, I guarantee that they're struggling to feel heard too. I guarantee that they feel as disabused as you do. Whether that's true or not, it's irrelevant. And so if you're both feeling that way and you step away and you get a sense that, wow, my voice is much stronger or I feel safe now or I know all the things or you know that this person is not going to change. They haven't, even though they promise to, they never show any sort of change in what their efforts are or what they're doing. Then you know, you know, I don't get a voice. They don't change and I don't feel safe. <laughs> when you're in that space and you're in a safe place, taking a break and you still recognize that, that's the time you can say, hey, you know what? I can end this. Or you begin to see somebody that is now listening to you. They are not just promising change, they've made changes. They are doing the things that you need them to do to feel safe and be able to open up and come back. And then you mend that relationship. But you can take a break to get a perspective to step away, like I did. And I hope that for your sake, you know, it all works out because honestly, for mine, it did. It worked out the way I needed it to. Uh, it's a better place for me. To end it was better, and that may be the answer, or to hang on may be the answer. But you sometimes need that space to get that perspective. 
So if you're asking these questions and wondering about that, you might also want to know how to heal from a friendship breakup because maybe you do this and you're about to face a breakup or you face the breakup and you're in it and you want to know how to get through it. I got answers for you. Like, subscribe, follow, share. I'm James Burnham. Thanks for joining me.